Man shot by Omaha police last night after a robbery at the Family Dollar in South Omaha has died. Today, his relatives tell us the man had fallen on tough times, and it all came to a tragic end last night near 13th and Hickory. Reporter Emily Zink is live with reaction. Emily. Well, Craig Daniel Elrod's daughter tells me she has no idea why her dad would try to rob this family dollar here, but she says she recently heard he and his wife were having trouble keeping a roof over their head, and she thinks he may have gotten desperate. You know, just thinking all of those years through my childhood, through my teens, I wanted him in my life, and I can't even long for that anymore because now he's gone. Taylor Elrod says her father, 39 year old Daniel Elrod, struggled to keep his life together. She says her dad was in and out of jail since the age of 17. He's always had a rough life, and it, it kind of sucks that he went this way at such a young age. But I just wish that he would have had it together. Last night, Elrod's life ended during a confrontation with police, according to police, while well, on the way to an armed robbery call at the Family Dollar near 13th in Hickory. Police located the suspect, Danny Elrod. When they did attempt to arrest him, uh, there was confrontation, and an officer did discharge his firearm during that incident. Taylor says it wasn't like her dad to lash out against police. I don't think he would have done anything. To, I don't know if he owned a gun or not, you know, but that doesn't really sound like him either. I don't really know. Taylor's mother, Melissa, told me over the phone that until last night, she didn't think Elrod had ever had a violent run in with authorities. But he did have a past when it comes to abusing women. He never, like, used weapons or anything like that. It was always his fist, and he was always drunk or stoned. Melissa says Elrod's alcohol abuse mixed with diagnosed bipolar disorder probably got the best of him last night when he was confronted by police. Were you surprised when you heard the news? No. Not at all. Melissa says she knows of at least five children Elrod has across the country who are now without a dad. Even though they're fatherless and he never really took care of them or anything like that, it's kind of sad that they had to see that their father was like that. The Omaha Police Department has not released the name of the officer who shot Elrod. And according to OPD policy, though, that person is out on paid administrative leave while they do investigate this case. Reporting live near 13th and Center, Emily Zink came to the Action 3 News.